Do you want a good fan for a blow job, or should that be a good fan that blows good? I don't know. But whichever way, this may be the fan for you. On the front of the box, you can see a picture of the fan, so you can see the black frame and the white blades on there. It says it's from a caster. It goes on about it being water resistant. It is the Otto SC12, which basically means it's a pressure optimized fan. On the back and the sides of the box, it tells you about the water and dust resistance IP68 rating. It's also got anti vibration structure design. It's got a PWM of 0 to 2000. A detachable frame and comes with rubber mounting pins and it also shows you on the picture what it looks like deconstructed. Not only does it blow good it also comes with a pack of rubbers as well or should I say four rubber pins otherwise that's pretty much it inside the box. Windows 11 powerful productive and profitable for resellers. Windows 11 was built with usability, efficiency, and security in mind, reimagining the way a PC should work. Windows 11 has been beautifully simplified with a streamlined UI. It's simple to upgrade. VIP is your destination for genuine Windows 11. Contact your VIP account manager for the latest price and unbundled deals. Okay, so here we've got the fan. It doesn't look anything special from first looks. It just looks like it's got nine blades on it. It's sort of a dark gray casing. I'd say this is more of a, a light gray than a white as it looks on the box. You've also got these four pegs here. Uh, so the rubber basically stops vibrations because you're using these rather than metal, which is a good thing. I have come across these before. They are pretty good. Um, some things what may look a little bit different. Obviously, there's no logo on the centre here. There's holes instead. The actual frame of it, you can actually take to pieces. So it's actually quite easy. So if you want to clean out anything or anything along that lines, it will just basically come apart. You see in the centre there, just inside, there's a little, like, little push area, which will then allow the fan to actually part and come come apart like that as you can see it's i'm not going to deconstruct it just now because i don't want to go and break it before we do any testing or anything but you'll just have to trust me and look at the b-roll over the top uh, otherwise on the back of the fan you can see the actual uh, frame there again you can see where the slight cutouts where the frame comes apart so you can clean it out it does have a cable on there it is 30 centimeters from the edge of the frame and it is sleeved up until the actual side of the case and then you can actually see the individual cables going into the motor unit but otherwise as you can see it looks pretty standard to a fan for an, any other fan on the market but obviously when you look closer you can actually take it to pieces and it does have a few of those extra features there which you may not normally see okay so down to testing we're testing on an i7 10700k processor we're going to be using it on the Acasa H4 heat sink which does come with its own fan as well so we're going to compare the two fans by just swapping them out now when we do testing we set the speeds at specific speeds so 50 percent 100 percent and we also do an overclocking result as well so we can compare exactly how they perform at set speeds so at the fan at 50 percent and again testing runs for 30 minutes with the cpu running flat out the fan what's built into the h4 or comes with a h4 got 70 degrees celsius now the auto fan got 62 degrees celsius so it performed eight degrees better bear in mind though it was slightly louder than the h4 fan probably by one or two decibels it was slightly more audible over the rest of the fans in the case but you probably wouldn't notice it in general now, cranking the fans up to 100%, we got 64 degrees Celsius on the actual fan, what comes with the H4. But when we replaced it with the Otto, we got 61 degrees Celsius. So again, a 3 degrees Celsius difference may not be as big as when we're running at 50%, but still perform very well. But again, it was a, another couple of decibels louder than the h4 fan which basically means 
uh, it was quite audible don't get me wrong you'd probably be fine with it in most cases but again when do you really run the processor flat out 100 percent all the time it's very rare but it does have that headroom to be able to go now on overclocking we got uh, even more results here so when we overclock the processor to 5.1 gigahertz there was a difference not a huge one again it was only two degrees difference so we're looking instead of 80 degrees celsius we've got an average of 79 but it did drop down the maximum so the maximum temperature from 91 down to 87 so don't get me wrong it performs better there's no question about it um, but it depends on what level you're using we found that it works better in comparison at 50 percent speed than it does when it's working at 100 percent speed but saying that that means your fan doesn't need to run as fast uh, to cool pretty good to be honest with you so that's really really good so yeah i do highly recommend this fan especially with the ability to deconstruct it and clean it and, and all the other facilities that it includes as well. If you're interested in another below uh, review, you can click this box just up here. Otherwise, if you want to look at another Akata review we've done, you can click this box just down here. This one just right here. Otherwise, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and possibly subscribe.